What exactly is the microbiome? It's just trillions of bacteria cells that live in our gut. Trillions, wow. more cells in our gut of bacteria. We're teeming with bacteria. And it's both healthy bacteria and disease-causing bacteria already living inside of you. Mm. Even me? Yes, even you. Even wow. you. We, have, we have bad bacteria and good bacteria living inside of us. And the, it's like I'm, I'm growing the carapia on my lawn, and it, it, it's such a tight plant that it's, it's choking out the weeds. The weeds can't grow, so I don't have to keep weeding the carapia or put weed killer because it chokes it out. And having all the good bacteria from the healthy foods and a healthy immune system chokes out so the bad bacteria can't proliferate. Wow. But as you eat unhealthfully and the weeds, the bad bacteria start to proliferate, then you may get a pneumonia or you may get, and you didn't even catch it. You just got it. You know, where did it come from? Well, we have bacteria that live all over the place. We're surrounded by bacteria. I'm not hyper crazy about washing my hands. I don't use those antiseptics. I'm not wearing masks because I'm exposed. I know we're all kinds of exposed to ba bad bacteria and bad virus all the time. But my, the, the main defense is how healthy you keep your body and your immune system and how healthy you keep your microbiome because you're never going to keep all bacteria and viruses out of your body. They're always going to be coming in and you've got to have the defenses to keep, to keep yourself healthy. Right. You know. Absolutely. So what are the best foods to keep this microbiome healthy? How do we do that? That's the whole key is that you see over the last couple, 20 years, even like 10 years ago or even five years ago, people were saying, Eat fermented foods, yogurt, kimchi, sauerkraut, to have a good microbiome, yes. or take probiotics, right? Mm -hmm. But that's not where the literature and the research has led us at this point. What the research has led us is that the people with the healthiest microbiome that leads to the most disease protection, we'll talk about how that's related to immune function and brain function too, are people with the most, with the most diverse exposure to plant fibers and plant variety. And so it's all about um, plant food diversity it leads to the healthiest microbiome and the health of the soil the plants are grown in. You can't take a pill, you can't take a probiotic to have as good of a microbiome as you or I compared to us eating a mixture of plants grown in natural organic soils with microbes and fungi and insects in the soil. That gives us the healthiest microbiome. Wow. And that, you know how Americans are eating like just one type of banana, just the Cavendish banana. There's 500 varieties of variety. They eat one type of mushroom, just the white button mushrooms. There's a thousand, there's hundreds of varieties of mushrooms. They eat one, one type of pine nut. There's hundreds of varieties, of, thousands of varieties of pine nuts. The point I'm making is this, is that us nutritarians recognize for many reasons to prevent cancer, not just the health of the microbiome, while we're trying to eat many different varieties of mushrooms multiple varieties of nuts, multiple varieties of beans, multiple types of different fruits, and multiple types of different grains, and multiple types of different vegetables, and, and raw, and cooked, and onion, and uh, we're trying to go after variety, and it's the variety of different plant foods, both the phytochemicals and the fiber variety, that leads to this microbiome with the most um, bacterial diversity, mm. and bacterial diversity has the best effect on your health. And we can talk about how that works. You know? It's like strengthening your army from different sources. So you're saying don't just choose one lettuce if you're hooked on a romaine salad every day. Mix up, like switch it, change it, rearrange the lettuces you're using because there's such a variety. So, which also- With arugula and sprouts too. Yeah. You and can, sprouts. And there's even a ton of different sprouts. So a ton you, of different sprouts, right. You could also get really creative in your diet by changing it up. These They all have subtle different tastes and then they also have all different nutrients is what you're getting at and bacteria. And different fibers because each wow. type of fiber grows a certain type of bacteria when you have a lot of different types of fiber, you grow multiple species of different types of bacteria, mm -hmm. and that's multiple species of bacteria are most effective at, at preventing unhealthy bacteria from proliferating. The more species of healthy bacteria, the more they don't allow unhealthy bacteria to get a foothold in, oh, your, wow. in your gut.